Y'all give me a second. Y'all know who it is, you know what I'm saying? Jeff from Florida, follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and some more. I haven't done a video like this. I react to the video, a type of video like this. But hey, we're going to react to this video together. I hope I started the recording. Are they all recording? All right, look. If you see the title, you see the title. I ain't going to explain anything. We're going to explain and break it down as we go. It's Instagram. I don't think you can pause on Instagram. Uh, he hey, from a man's perspective. Oh, yes, you can. All right, so we're going to get straight into the video. Tell me if this is just way out of pocket. And this is why we talking prenuptials and shit. On the first date, I had to get my daughter something to eat before he took me out. So I was like, can you run me by the McDonald's real quick? Because I'm running behind. Woo -woo. We get to McDonald's. All she got was her classic, a milkshake, four-piece nugget, and a small fry. When the when the lady at the window asked for the bread, he's like, like "Where's that?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you said run me through McDonald's real quick so we can. Get, yeah, nigga, you gonna pay? Now you see what's going on. So basically, she was going out with a dude, you know, what I'm saying on a date and all that. And now she on do head, like she said, she want to go McDonald's. It's like, yeah, let's go McDonald's. Now she coming for his top. She's coming for his like yo, like cough out the bread. Like she expecting him to pay. And this is so funny, like, people really think this is how things supposed to go. Like, it's a first date. Why would you, like, put a dude in a situation for him to pay for your for your jit? You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I ain't. I'm not acting like I don't got it. I got the bread, but I'm why, why am I? I don't even know you yet. I don't know your kids. That's not my kid, yo. You already you already go down one bar for having a jit on our date. Why you having a jit with, with me on our date, you hear me? And the you went down two bars for asking me to pay for your jit. That's your responsibility at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So that really shows me in her eyes like she's looking for a dude to take care of a kid in the, in the, in the get-go. You know what I'm saying? At the get-go, she already looking for a baby daddy, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Of course. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I think that's the Already? Right that was now. the first problem. That ain't no that problem. Was, was, at that moment. That's your problem. Look, and it was at that moment. You should have for the And I even asked him, did he want anything? But look, it was at that moment that I knew you were never getting this pussy. Because he ain't paid for your daughter. Ooh. Fuck you on the first okay, date. Okay, so honestly. So she basically saying, she, you got to pay for her. You know what? That ain't a good look. Honestly, I ain't going to lie to you. My boss you was here, knew I was having a sleepover for my daughter. He was like, oh, that's what you know. I'll order a pizza. That's why most of relationships, they cheat but on like, you. That's why most not. relationships, they cheat on you with somebody at work. Because of shit like that. No, no, I'm going to pay no. for the, the, the daughter. Chief King. Bang, bang. Wait, are you recording? Hey, you two. I'm his favorite sister. Don't mind the weed. I'm about to get there. She caught bye bye. Oh, you are. Oh, you know I forgot I had this. I looked in this bag. I thought it was trash. I mean, damn. You know who told me you didn't like it because you did it too much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I had it been for what, like a week or two? Three. Yeah, I just want to tell you about her. What? You got food down there? Uh-uh. Look. Can't call me about here no more. As I was saying, guys, I'm going to get back to it. Until I was really interrupted. From a man's perspective, tell me if this is oh, a like it. And I'm pretty sure he was some like, young pussy. What no, you mean? No, 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 you no, no, I'm for it. She it wouldn't have I'm to be looking to him. She basically saying, he can't hit. Because he got to pay. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Females can never go broke because there's always dudes that will pay for the pee. You know what I'm saying? There's dudes that will always pay for the pee. So there's always a demand for a female. You know what I'm saying? But depending on how attractive she is, the more she get hired, but still, there's always a demand for it. You know what I'm saying? And I can see that she she biologically rooted to that, cause she basically said he ain't pay for uh my kids dinner, then what's gonna happen? He's not gonna get none of this pee. You know what I'm saying? Just off the rip, off the rip, you already know like her thinking ain't it. Cause if that's the case, and every female doing that, then we just instead of it being love, it's more of a transaction like you pay for this you get this and that's ain't that's not a way to go you know what i'm saying that's not a good way to go because it, it, it feels too sleazy I, if i if i had to do that every time i'll be broke <laughs> let me quit the cabin but now if i do that every time that at that point you really gonna feel like what she doing is a job and you just paying for that it's not gonna it's not gonna sit right it's not gonna build any type of healthy relationship at the end of the day it's not gonna work out because you're gonna be paying for something that should be free you know what i'm saying so what's to say that while you're in a relationship somebody else pays for something you know what i'm saying to say to say 
some dudes being generous. He paying for everybody in the back of the line, and he pays for her, pay for her. She happened to be in the line, and he paid for it. Now what's she gonna do? Oh, he paid for me and stole that pee on him. And that the case got down. Easy as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like think think of it like that. It's not making like her her reasoning for this. It ain't making no type of sense. Yeah, I, I was thinking at the time, but I'm gonna tell you. What no, I'm just saying. No, I get what you. I get you. I will fuck your boss up. <laughs> no, I'm gonna he pay was for all that. All and I'm. Now look, you're going to read this. As a man on your first date with a woman, you are supposed to impress her with the kindness, generosity, and just be a gentleman all around. He should have made the gesture and paid for the McDonald's. Dude clearly wasn't a gentleman, so she wanted no parts. Can't blame her. You know who the you know the people that don't get no pee? The gentlemen. And you know that, did you? The people that get most disrespected, the gentlemen. Just because I open the door for you, there's plenty of times I open doors for females. Plenty. I never get a thank you. Appreciate it. None. I open do I open doors for dudes. Appreciate it, fam. Good looks, man. Are right, you working hard? I see. Appreciate it. You know, so I get more validation from doing kind gestures towards dudes than females. You know why? Cause females are used to that. They used to kindness and all that. So you being nice to a female, don't you don't stand out. I promise you, you don't stand out. The reason why them dudes was like, you appreciate it. Because they know that a dude not going to open the door for him like this and let him get in. You know what I'm saying? They're they, they going to be like, what? That's not. That's like weird to a jit. Because usually that don't happen to them. You know what I'm saying? So for her for her to say this, all this is, is incorrect. I bet you she would have hood do right now. You know what I'm saying? She would have do that disrespect and all that stuff. I say I wouldn't say I'm hood or not, but I'm not like a nice dude. I'm okay. I'm a nice dude, but you gotta, but you gotta be nice towards me. I'm not gonna give you good energy if you're giving off bad energy, and that's what she wants right now. Cause you know how females be; they never in a good mood every day. She gonna still want that gentleman, that whatever. Well, that's what she thinks she's gonna want, but she really don't. So y'all gotta, y'all gotta be careful when females say they want something. They don't. They really want the opposite. I'm keep it a buck. No lie. Now let's read this one this other one. Hate that she and a lot of women act like the man is the only one making first impressions. She made over six dollars and meanwhile she showed him within ten minutes that feeding her kids is an afterthought and that the man should just meet can already start indirectly being involved with the child. Dead ass. Ain't no way I'm supposed to meet your kid first date. Ain't no way a woman go meet my kid in the first month. I don't bring temporary situ situations into kids' lives until it's established between us and us. Ain't no kid interaction going on. Okay, now look. There's big facts. Why is your kid hungry, first of all, on a date? So you telling me you irresponsible and you ain't feed your kids and you talking about me not paying is already a red flag for you? You see what I'm saying? These females not making no sense. They're not using the logic. And the dude on the bottom ain't bringing your kid, bro. If you a fling, you're not seeing my jit. Why 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 did she bring the jit with her in the first place in the date? That's another red flag. Like she talked about him not paying. But when you keep breaking the situation down, you really see that she was in the wrong. There is literally more situations or there's literally more how do I say this? There's more it makes more sense to side with the dude than the girl for not paying. We first met first of all. And I'm not even paying for you. I'm paying for your kid. You hear me your jit. I'm paying for your chick. And you talking to me like that? That's crazy. But hey, y'all already know who it is, man. Jeff from Flow to find me Twitch, Instagram, YouTube. Y'all want more content like this, breaking it down, female nature, dude nature, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I might be one of these new channels, but hey, I'm out.